Let's jump into the match. We can see Eclardes attacking Kura Castle while Lamaland will be defending. When it comes to the weapons, yeah, very good question about the palace guards because we can see that Eclardes is bringing them in quite a bit as well. We're seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven already, I think, easily. Also, a lot of javelins, the Kali and militia. So, a good mix of range, a lot of stalwarts, and we're seeing way less pikes than compared to two weeks ago. Same for Lamaland, and they're also wearing a lot of berserkers this time. With Eclardes coming in full force, full strength, not being able to use any trebuchet anywhere, so this is going to be key for the defenders. But they are moving in and moving in very, very strong with so many palace guards. This might be looking totally different from what we have seen so far. Right now, they are moving with pikes, going to try to focus fully on the corner while they are blocking with their palace everyone from the flank so they are going to be very offensive here and actually with horses from the flank and all the fire claiming they are going to be quite successful advances as well coming in so this is going to be very strong push from Eclarides and it seems like they are going to do it quite nicely so far Lamaland their flank from the stairs is going to be successful and they are coming to attack behind Eclarides the flank is going to be quite successful despite the horde is coming in from left from right and uh, seems like the first push is going to be closed in by Lamalan but this is with very 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 heavy losses I'm not even sure if the traps can hit down on below on the stairs I've never no, tried no, no, can no, they cannot. no it can't right yeah no. so they can hit like like here or something like that yeah right at the corner yeah, yeah. they're going down so let's see how they crack this nut yeah, so Lamaland actually very nicely with the javelins once more from the flank and double muskets from grenades in, so this is going to deal massive amounts of damage to the units. They're going to be countered by trebuchets and some of the palace guard, but the push is coming in and coming in strong. So right now Lamaland is getting a little bit more aggressive in their defense. They are not waiting in, but they are coming directly here to close uh, Eclarides here in this choke point. And I believe this is a very good decision because stairs is a great choke point as well as pikes or other many units don't work that well going downstairs so this is big advantage on them from the other end we have Moriar and Matshan making some movement and some distraction here on the flank but this is going to be nicely handled by Lamaland so seems like overall this is going to be very nicely defended once more for now it won't seems like they are going to go back and help heal up a little bit at least for some of the units because they are going to, yeah, they are being flanked by some of the horses. They dealt with that quite nicely. And right now they are using all their Nankans that they have left and all their Javelin Sergeants to try to harass as much as they can before moving in full force and attacking Lamaland. What's interesting is that still Eclaridus have nine trebuchets left and they are not using them to clear these Nankans up top. So this is, uh, this might be problematic in the long run. Um, for now they are going to push but not truly push so this is looking quite uh, hectic right both of the cavalry pushing in infantry moving back dying they're, one by one they're definitely, they're definitely trying to bait Lamaland into some trebuchets but team Lamaland is not biting really hard uh, look at the cap coming in from behind it's well caught by team Eclaridus as team Lamaland is starting to slow push in they continue to run back to the supply as well to get some new units and uh, Team Ekra is only has 100 units left currently, so I think Team Lamland can start to move out to clean up this. With so much range that they bring into the match and, and javelins and whatnot, this might be... Um, this, this, this looked quite interesting. Let's focus then on the match itself. No more time to look into history. And this is something that Eclarides team should do focus fully on what is coming, don't think about what was there for the units. Yeah, looking closely at Team Lamaland, they're bringing the same amount of Sigalian militia, some berserkers, some javelins, the same pretty much, a lot of stalwarts, and only three or four pikes, I think, so very interesting approach, um, because we see most teams with a lot of pikes, and uh, for Team Acroides, we see quite a bit of Kef, uh, a lot more army than what we've seen before. They're going to choose exactly the same tower as they did initially in their previous games when they were attacking here on Kurak. So not actually being quite static, like they are trying some things, they are slowly digging in, but I guess this is actually a statement to Eclarides. They are definitely not rushing anything and they are waiting for them to see what to do. And Eclarides on the same strategy, not getting harassed, hiding out, and both teams are going to push from different angles and going to clash in the middle. Definitely very interesting, something we have not seen so far.
And with so many pikes coming in from Eclarides, this is going to go slowly, slowly into their advantage. Yeah, meanwhile, Team Lamanat's fully set up. We can see Sigali and Nisha flying back and forth with the flames. This will stop any push, but uh, of course, Junes can still go there because there's time. <laughs> Look at how much flame there is. Yeah. I wonder uh, what we'll see now. Team Lamanat has set up uh, to what they used to do. Yeah, and with so many Namkans, uh, sorry, Arches, right? Because they have Imperial Arches here as well on the back. Lo the longer the fight is going on, the more it goes to the Lamaland. So this initial push from their end, as we have seen, it was due to shield units and like one more unit just to stay there and take as much time as possible from the defenders, while all their backline with Javelins, Zekalians and Double Archers are going to harass as much as possible and this is going to be victorious. For Lama I, mean, I think Eclorides was a bit too aggressive in moving up. They just moved up a little bit too far away, I think. Uh, we can see that the gap in unit skills is actually 200, 200 right now, and they started equal. Valerie here with Belanda, Moria, and Matshin waiting to wreak havoc on the behind. So Lama is going to need to adjust to this quite heavily because three horses, you cannot forget this, right? You cannot just leave this and not do anything about it. Maniacs, I believe he forgot that you cannot deal any damage in the spawn point. So this was very interesting uh, thing that was done over there, but we'll see where it goes for now. The supply point going to fall into Lamaland hands and Eclari is going to push in quite aggressively, taking this cavalry in the back uh, into their uh, the strength card, right? Going to attack from both sides and one cavalry is coming in. Very effective. Yes, that was very nicely. Another one and the third one. This is going to be a very nice cleanup from Eclarides. Very well made decision to push in fully, especially that Lamaland had only one pikes around and nothing more to deal with those horses. They tried their best with the ultimates and hero abilities. They were not able to do it, especially that Eclarides have staggered their horses one by one with about three or so seconds of difference between each other. And this is very, very effective. But some of the cup is going to be taken away by AZ. So, so yeah, slow on rotation up here. There. And this is a great opportunity for Team Lamaland because they can start using their traps right now because Team Eclorides is gone upstairs. So if some of the units from Team Lamaland can actually come in quickly and they, they can look at this, there's cap coming in. But this being counter cap, but I wonder, there's the first trap. Let's see what walks into this. Yeah, the issue here is that this is very long point and the trap is going to fly in quite long. So these cavalry charges, they are not that effective considering that they were mostly into the shield units, but they are bringing surely more and more of those. We have seen that pikes are coming in. They are going to keep the front lines safe or no, they are going to just put them in back. And this is going to be, yes, okay. They are changing it that I, what I imagined that they are going to do because they lack any units in front line right now. Berserkers flying around here and there, but nothing more. Yeah, but Eclorides is too slow. Machin was trying to clean up on the left side with his horses, but he was killed. And uh, this allowed the Team Lamaland to still continue to get units on the point. Team Eclorides is stuck in this corner where the Trebuchet can perfectly hit. The Kalim Militia come in as well. They will slow down Team Eclorides even more. Mm -hmm. See, there's someone coming in from the side. Yeah, one cavalry from one side, other from other side. This is going to be quite effective. The back one from the flank. Uh, not that much actually met with Halabard's face on, but the numbers are for Lamalans. They are 15 to 10 and they have 200 more units. So if they will be able to maintain this trebuchet and they still have eight more fly in, this is going to be very hard for Eclarides to deal with because still Lamaland have majority for last three minutes or so. They have majority of units and heroes here on the cup point and initiative is on their end. So right now Eclarides need to do something they need to come up with something and they need to come to something very fast they tried several flanks most of them were closed down very quickly and this is not going to be work working anytime soon due to lamaland having good control on their backline and they are trying to move forward from the standard gate right now but just with heroes most of the units are gone and the ones that are coming are going to fall uh, directly into the trebuchet right now yeah. slow down as well 
this has been one of the longest fights we've ever seen, I think. Uh, the trebuchets continue to fly, and there's only six left as another one comes off cooldown in three seconds. There's only 240 units left for Team Macroidus, 450 from Team Lumberland. They continue to f try and find the flanks for it from Team Macroidus, but they have to step in and off the cap right now as they don't have too many units left. Yeah, but this is going to go into Lumberland. They constantly cap at 13 versus 10 or 14 versus 5 or something like that. So this goes very well done. How about post battle analysis to do? Yeah. Uh, this is very impressive. Look at this. Only two fights. Typically, we see three big attacks from uh, the attacking team. Uh, but this time, we only saw two because the final one lasted for minutes, literally. So, congratulations, Lamaland 2 0 today. And they are going to fight for the first spot in next week. While Eclarides are going to advance as well, but they are going to fight for the third place.